What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the pseudo legendary of Paldea. We got ourselves a Bax Caliber team for Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Bax Caliber, this Pokemon is really strong on the physical attacking side with amazing stats all around. It's pretty bulky, it's decently fast, and it can hit hard. So in Regulation H, with Legendary and Paradox Pokemon out the way, more specifically with Fluttermane out of the way. Bax Calibur is here to shine. So we're rocking out with that, pairing it up with Lola Ninetales. Looking to do some big time damage. Looking to grab some wins for you guys. But let's talk about Bax Calibur a little bit more. It is rocking the Thermal Exchange as its ability with the Clear Amulet as item. It's got the Water Terror type with Glaive Rush, Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, and Protect. Phenomenal moveset. You got first turn priority. You got two stab moves that can hit like a truck. We love Bax Calibur. Lola Ninetales also on this team, like we already mentioned, to set the snow. It's got snow warning with the Covert Cloak, rocking Aurora Bell, Icy Wind, Blizzard, and Moonblast. Now, if you know me, I love Aurora Bell and screens in general. It just helps your team out so much. It makes them super bulky. So if we can set up Aurora Bell, we should be able to lock up a match and pretty much just get to work from there. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Golden Go, Rillaboom, Volcarona, and a little bit of an off meta Pokemon. We got ourselves Mirror Herb Water Tauros. Golden Go is going to be here for special attacking. Same thing with Volcarona. Rillaboom there for doing Rillaboom things, such as setting the terrain, faking out, doing damage with Woodhammer and Grassy Glide. And then Tauros with Intimidate. We love Tauros. It's got Raging Bull, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Protect. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Bax Caliber Snow Team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Lukia squad. This one, gonna be tough. Anytime we're versing Regulation G teams with Regulation H teams, it's always tough for us. We actually did beat one in our last video, so hopefully we can do it again here. They might lead Lugia, they might lead Confi with it, but I think going into our Snow squad is perfect for us. Let's try to get that Aurora Bell bumping. Let's try to go from there. They also have a Fake Out user with Sableye, but again, I like Aurora Bell here. Um, I could go into... Oh, they do have Pelipper. I didn't even see you, Pelipper. That could be rough. That could definitely be rough, Pelipper. But you know what? I think still going into like... Hmm. What could we do? Do we want to lead Ninetales? Yeah, I'm going to lead it because it does have the Cobra Cloak as well. So I'm going to lead that with Bax Caliber. On top of that, I think Golden Go could be a pretty solid option for us. Especially with the leftovers and last but not least. Do we go Rillaboom here? Rillaboom or Volcarona? I mean, they got Rain, which is the only problem. So I'm just going to go Rillaboom here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go Rillaboom. I like it. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be tough. It was looking pretty good for us, and then I looked at the bottom of the team. I was like, oh no, my boy Pelipper. Paloops is on the other team. And then I was just like, oh man, that's tough news for us. Because weather control was like the one thing that we really needed here. So let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be... Okay, these two. Um, I don't think they hard swap into Pelipper. They could drop Rain Dance. They could drop Rain Dance. They could go for Fake Out. I'm gonna give it a shot. And try to set up this Aurora Bell. I'm gonna give it a shot here. Aurora Bell going out. So I got Cobra Cloak. I'm ready to rock. I am gonna go Icicle Crash and just look for some big time damage into Slugia, even though it's super bulky. And of course, you're taunting me instead of faking me out. I should just went for like a Blizzard or something. Maybe we can get like a Flinch or something on the Lugia. That'd be pretty nice. He's gonna Combine Boost. Luckily, I am physical attacking. This thing's so bulky though. Please don't be Weakness Policy. I'd rather you be Leftovers than Weakness Policy. This thing can get scary real quick. So I took a crash and launches. Does mediocre damage. It's not weakness policy though, which we which we love. Um I'm gonna launch a blizzard on top of that. We're just gonna go into the ISO crash. Just keep doubling down into this uh Lugia slot. Such a bulky Pokemon. Oh man, it's not Calm Mind boost it. Boost it on the special defense. Look at Bax Caliber looking up at it. It's like, oh my lord, look at this monster. It's not leftovers either. Are you buried? What are you? Willow is gonna fly here. We got thermal exchange, baby. We got thermal exchange. That's huge. Blizzard can launch. Do these damage. Give me a freeze on Lugia. Nope, no freeze. Arrow blast launches through. We should soak. We do soak with a little bit more than half, which is good news. Iso crash gonna land and pick up the KO. Let's go. That's why we love thermal exchange. I think that boosted that attack, correct? I think it did. That's massive. That's really big for us. So I'm able to do that. I might just Icy win this next turn just to grant a little bit of speed control for the squad. And they're going to go into coffee, so two support Pokemon. Let me check something out with Thermal Exchange. Boost the attack stat when a Pokemon is hit by a fire type move. This, this Pokemon also can be burned. I don't know if that boosted my attack stat. It just seemed like we got a higher roll than last time. 
still, hey, I take the damage all day. We love it. Lugia gone. Get it on out of here. Um, from here, we could rip a Moonblast. We could take some speed control. I think ripping a Moonblast here is in our best option. And the reason I say that is because if I can get rid of this, uh... If I can get rid of this, uh, Sableye, then we can set up a Warville next turn because our taunt will be over. And chances are, Confi is probably going for, like, a Drain and Kiss into Vex Caliber. So I can just protect the ear. A little bit of protect action. So got rid of the main threat of Lugia, which is huge. There's the Drain and Kiss. Good old block from us. And Moonblast should be able to finish off this, uh... This Sableye. Now, Willow was going to fly into the slot, and it's going to be okay. I mean, it's going to do a little bit of chip damage, but... It's not as bad as being on like a physical attack because it's not half of my attack stat. So we get rid of you. Um, we could set up a roar valve. We could switch. We could terrestrialize here because you know Compi wants to just like drain and kiss through onto this uh, back caliber. So I could swap into Golden Gun if I want to. Set up a roar valve and then like spam Icy Wing for the next couple turns. Depends who they go into. It's gonna be Pelipper. Oh no, my weather. Wow, you finally go into Pelipper. I guess because you want to taunt me first. Alright, looks like we're just gonna go Icy Wind here. So Icy Wind can fly. I could swap into Rillaboom if I want to, just to fake out next turn. I'm cool with that. If I'll swap out, we'll go straight into Rillaboom. And they still have Terror. Same thing with us, though. The Terror is still an option. I'm scared of Hurricane, obviously, for Pelipper, but this turn he's not going for a Hurricane. No shot, right? Journey Kiss launches, does about negative 5. Oh my lord, did like nothing. <laughs> and now Icy Wind launches, gets rid of Focus Dash, and slows down the competition. That's good news for us. We might want to Thrasalize our Roll Boom. And of course you go for Hurricane in this slot. Rip up into me. Now we're not going to Thrasalize. Now we're so not Thrasalizing. Now we will save our Terror. So I got Fake Out ready to go. I think Training Kiss actually goes before that. But I think for us, we should just focus down onto this uh, Comfy here, right? Let's just attack this Comfy. I could fake it out, but I think, again, fake out goes first. I'm just gonna go for a Woodhammer, to be honest. I'm not even gonna fake this thing out, because we should be faster than it, unless it goes for Drain and Kiss. And Woodhammer can do a big chunk of damage. Might even KO, which would be huge. So Woodhammer flies, and it does KO. Perfect. So we'll we'll take that little sacrifice. We'll die out the recoil. We'll pretty much lock up this match, no problem. Let's go. All day long. All day long. We actually survived the recoil. But Paloops is doubling down into us on 5 HP. If it didn't double down into us, I was swapping that Roll Boom out here. I was like, yo, we're getting the sweep. We would have went right in the goal to go and won this match. But it's kind of funny. The burn damage is, like, bringing me down. And then the terrain is bringing me back up the full. And it's just bouncing back and forth. Uh, but from here, I think we could just go into Max Caliber if we want to. Yeah, this video is about Max Caliber. So let's just go into Max Caliber. We will Terrestrialize him. Play things safe. And honestly, we don't even need to Terrestrialize him. This thing's minus one on speed. We can just do this. We can just go Moonblast into Glaive Rush. See you later, Pelipper. I'm not even wasting my Terror type. Not even wasting it. Not even wasting it. I know we're faster than you. It's GG's. It's game over. Thanks for playing. You're going to trash slice. If this is Fairy type, I'm going to be so upset. This better not be Fairy type for some odd reason. Okay, it's a ghost. That's cool. That's fine by me. You still, we win this game, no problem. That was like a last ditch effort, like, hey, I'm gonna terrestrialize. And Moonblast gonna launch. Probably bring down a half. A little bit more than half. And Glaive Rush saying, night, night. See you later, Pelipper. We start off things 1 0 with Bax Caliber. Match number two on its way. And if we beat a Regulation G team, I feel confident in beating a Regulation H team. Even though this team is super dope. They got Greninja, Kilowattrel, Ursaluna, Malamar. I should say contrary Malamar because typically that's what they run. Then they got Whimscott and Torko. So weather control, looking a little scary for us. Definitely looking a little scary for us. I feel like we should bring Ninetales in here. But rather leading it, bring it more so in the back end. And maybe lead a Pokemon like Volcarona. Because Volcarona could set up here. And we can really start to get after it, so. I do like Volcarona. It's also super effective onto a few Pokemon with, like, Giga Drain, Heat Wave. I do like it. We just gotta watch out for Kilowatcher, which is a little scary Pokemon. Who might have competitive on it as well. Who could definitely have competitive on it. But I am gonna go into you. Um, go lead back to Caliber. Could lead Ninetales. I am gonna lead Ninetales and maybe force a swap and try to set up, like, Quiver Dance at the same time. I think that could be really good. And then we'll go back to Caliber. And last but not least, do we go Golden Go, the Bull, or Rillaboom? Hmm. Rillaboom's looking pretty, 
pretty fine here. Same thing with the bull, though. I think we give the bull a shot. I think we give the bull a shot here. I think we give the bull a shot. Even though they, I don't think they have any physical attackers. Maybe Greninja that would be like the only one, depending on how it's built. Other than that, like Intimidate's not gonna do a lot of work. But I like the typing. I like the, uh, I like the fighting and, and water moves. As long as the sun's not up, the water moves should be fine onto a few Pokemon, such as Torkoal or Ursaluna. They're gonna go Malmar into Wimscott, which is cool by me. Um, I'm gonna try to set up this War Veil. If they swap, they swap. I think. Uh, do we launch a heat wave on top of that? Yeah, because if they swap, they, they, they swap, and then we get off some big time damage, and we just try to go for an Aurora Bell. That's what we're going to do. If you want to swap, go ahead. Go right ahead. It means Torkoal's going to be taking a little bit of damage here, unless you set up a Trick Room with Whimsicott. That would be a power move. I'm scared for that. Luckily, there's Rasslide, so no swap. I was going to say, if they swap Malamar into Torkoal and then pop Trick Room with Whimsicott, that could be scary. But he's going to end up terrestrializing Malamar into steel. Into steel. This is money. This is perfect. You think I'm going for Moonblast into that? Heck no. Uh-oh, you're fake tearing me. Oh, you're fake tearing him. Him boosting his special defense. That's scary. That is scary. Special defense boosted. That is scary. But we do get off a of Warbell, which could Heat Wave launches. Big time damage onto both of them. And Super Power going to launch. Wow, I'll do minimal damage, but this thing's stats are going crazy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can't even icy when it to slow it down. Do I quiver dance? Just to boost my stat? No, because you're I, I have to finish off this one scott here. Let's just start doing damage in in hopes that we can get like I don't know, a crit or a uh, a freeze here. Oh no, Malmar. They're definitely gonna fake tears again. I thought you were fake tears and like my or something. Nope. Plus four special defense. Just like that. I never see Malmar use like that. That's actually pretty cool. The Blizzard is going to fly. Give me a freeze. Give me something. Give me something. We need freezer crit. Slow this Malmar down. This thing's going crazy on the bulkiness. Heat wave's going to land. Give me a crit. Not bad damage though. Super power going to launch. We should soak this one up. Soaking up really well with this war bell. He's just boosting his stats like crazy. <clears throat> I could boost its speed if I want to. Of course, you're leftovers. Oh, man. Let's start going for some quivers here. The quiver up. I probably should have quivered last turn, but... Let's see who they go into. They have close combat with the bull. I know you're plus two on defense. You're going to bulk up real quickly. I think we just got to constantly send these heat waves. I really do. I really do. So we're going to go moon blast. We're going to go heat wave here. Just keep slowly chipping up damage because it's doing respectable damage. It really is. Heat Wave's doing respectable damage. Rock Slide's gonna connect. Oh, it's from Greninja. And that does a huge amount of damage to my Volcarona, which we don't like. Luckily, I do have a berry. Really good news for us. I'm able to eat it up. I'm able to launch a Moon Blast. So Greninja, a little lightweight. Actually, oh, it's switch typing. She's a little biscuit. Who's dodging Heat Wave? Hit the Malmar. Let's go. Okay, so we hit the Malmar. That's good news. And Night Slash is going to launch Chaos here. Oh, we survived. We survived. Alright, um... How do I even play this one? How do I even play this one? Because we don't want to boost that thing's speed. This is tough, especially with the typings. What is your speed right now? Bull. 167. You're actually fast. Alright, so don't boost that thing's speed. That's, that's fine by me. Um, if we can land a, a Giga Drain, that'd be huge. And I can go for a blizzard here. Maybe just look for a freeze. Did I, did I throw slides? No, I didn't. Rock slide, of course, lands. We lose our Volcarona. Can I try to get a freeze onto this Malmar? This Malmar's a pain. This Malmar's a pain. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. Nope, no freeze. Super power launches. So this thing's plus four in defense. What I'm really hoping here is I can just close combat, get rid of the Malmar, and then have my Baxcalibur just like Blade Rush, or actually, Ice Shard could just KO the Greninja. That's what I'm really hoping. I know you're plus four on the fence, which is terrifying. Do I Mirror Herb this? Oh, I'm curious. Do you Mirror Herb this? Will the Bull Mirror Herb this thing's stats? 
I'm curious. I don't use the mirror herb that much. Mirror herb it. Oh, baby. Does it get all of them? No, it only got the attack boost. Man. I'll still take it, though. That attack boost is definitely going to help us out. But I think we can just go for Ice Shard here. And then we outspeed with close combat. And we just knock this thing out. So the bull might have been the best call we ever made. Bringing in the bull. His name's Bill. His name's Bill. Close combat. Bill. Do it, Bill. My boy, Bill. My boy, Bill. Now when I'm thinking of Bill, have any of you guys watched Gravity Falls? I actually started watching it. I finished season one. There's only two seasons, and I'm like halfway through season two, and I'm loving that show. But Bill's Ryan, me of Bill Cypher from Gravity Falls. So if I got any Gravity Falls fans, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm loving that show so much. I really am. I'm a huge fan of it. I've been seeing it like all over my TikToks and stuff. It's on like my For You page, and I was just like, dude, this is actually like interesting. Because there's like a lot of like lore and stuff behind it. I was like, I gotta watch this. I have got to watch this. And I finally watched it, and I've been loving it so far. I'm actually almost done it. Like I said, it's like a short series. I think it's 40 episodes. So, it's a good time. If you guys, if you guys are interested in Gravity Falls, definitely watch it. But uh, I'm going to go Glaive Rush here. On top of that, uh, do I just go close combat? I'll probably do a bit more damage than anything. So I'm going to do that. Double down, just look for the win here. And they cancel the match. They don't even take the shot at the... Uh, with like the eruption or something. So 2-0. Hot start for us so far. We're sitting 2-0 on the casual ladder. Going up against an Iron Crown team with Indeedee, Urshifu, Ogre Pond, Whimsicott, and Sandy Shock. So not a regulation H team, but no restricted Pokemon. So that's a good sign. That is definitely a good sign. But from here, honestly, weather could be nice. Unless they lead Whimsicott with like sunny day. And I feel like this is definitely like a sunny day squad. Considering they have like Sandy Shocks with like Protosynthesis. That could be a little troublesome for us. They could lead, obviously, uh... Indeedy, so I kind of want to bring like Rollaboom. I definitely want to bring like Rollaboom and Ninetales. Do they want to be back end Pokemon though? Could be. Actually, let's go Volcarona and Bax Caliber. And then bring Rollaboom and Ninetales as for late game. Just so we have terrain control, just so we can have weather if we need it. it really depends on who they go into. Because if they go into Whimsicott, I feel like we're fine with just like setting up like a, a Quiver Dance or like going for a Heat Wave. But if they don't, and they go into like terrain control, we can just swap in our terrain. Swapping our weather, whatever we need. So, I think it's good for us. Yep, and there's Indeedy. So, we are totally swapping in Rillaboom. And do I launch a Heat Wave here? That's the real question. Go into Rillaboom and launch Heat Wave? Not a bad call for us. Definitely not a bad call for us. Is he, so, he's going to Quirk Drive boost with the booster energy. Boost special attack. I think I Quiver here. I do you think I, can, I might go for Quiver Dance here? I'm going to go for Quiver Dance, and I am just going to go right in Rillaboom. With the, with the AV, the Assault Vest, help us out a little bit. Now let's do it. Quiver Dance launch. You might even Terrasalize into, like, Water Terror type. Being a little scared, but, yeah, I need to take this turn control right off the rip. Right off the rip. This thing's already booster energy. Hopefully, he's going for a Expanded Force into, like, Roll Boom slot. That could be nice for me. And he ends up going for a Follow Me, which is totally fine, because I'm Quiver Dancing. What are you going for, Iron Crown? And my Quiver Dance goes before. Oh, that's so big. That's so big, because I get a special defense boost. So if you are attacking my Volcarona, that just helps us out tremendously. So we get the speed boost, we get all that stuff. He goes for attack on Cutter in this slot, which is great. We're able to soak this up, no problem. And now I can fake out if I want to. I can honestly fake out the Iron Crown. And set up another Heat Wave, or set up another Quiver Dance, which is exactly what I'm doing. Actually, do I just U-turn Pivot out of here? She might swap. I'm going to U-turn Pivot, just in case you swap in DD. You might even protect Iron Crown, thinking I'm going for a fake out. You might even protect Iron Crown. That's not happening. We're setting up a Quiver Dance. We're going for another U-turn. We're going for a big brain play right here. Big brain play. We're predicting the protect. We're predicting maybe the swap on in DD. And we're looking to set up another Quiver Dance here. Go ahead, protect this Iron Crown. Put up a little shield here. There's the withdrawal on in DD, the swap. That's why we U-turned out. And Ogre Pond's gonna fly out here, and this should do decent damage. A little bit of damage, that thing. Show me the protect onto the Iron Crown. Show it to me. Oh my lord, the big brain plays. This was light work. This was light work. Come on, man, that's too easy. Quiver Dance out and about. Boost our special attack again. Boost our special defense. Boost our speed. Oh my lord, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Look at that. Respectable damage. 
We swap our Rillaboom, we protected them swapping, we protected them protecting. And now I could just go into Ninetales and set up a War Rail, and at this point my Volcarona can just be an absolute beast. Just be an absolute beast, because we're going to be able to soak up whatever, whatever what's called has to offer. We can easily soak up whatever, uh... Whatever Iron Crown has to offer, even if they swap into terrain. So now I'm just going to set up War Veil. They can't change weather. We're plus two on speed, special defense, and special attack. And I'm ready to launch Heat Waves now. And Quiver Dance is so good. I love Beats of Quiver Dance. I love it. Quiver Dance is just, oh my lord. If more Pokemon learn Quiver Dance, it'd be ridiculous. So follow me. That's a waste of a turn right there because we're launching Heat Wave. And Heat Wave should double KO, right? Later, thanks for playing, and now we set up a war belt. We got a crit, but that was KO regardless. It was super effective. Stab plus two. Get on out of here, Iron Crown. Big brain plays from your boy jeans. Easy reads. Easy reads all day. We know exactly what they're doing. And that's gonna be GG's. That's gonna be a sweep. It's gonna be a sweep. This is this is light work. This is light work. Indeed, he's gonna come out here. We're just gonna be able to keep that thing down. And I don't know who their final Pokemon is, but it don't really matter. I'm ripping here. I got a War Bell set up. I doubt you're KOing my Volcarona. And it's Wimscott. Oh, two support Pokemon? Cancel the match. Cancel the match. Come on, man. That's too easy. Any of my members? Huge shout out to you guys, first of all. Thank you guys so much for being members. But give me the uh, LeBron James emote in the comments. Love it. Love it. Love it. I also just opened up a uh, Super Thanks. I think it works like donations. Obviously, not mandatory. But if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, definitely much appreciated. Should be down like near like the membership button. But uh we're gonna launch a heat wave and on top of that, Blizzard for the win. Thanks for playing. GG, so they gotta cancel the match here, right? Yep, there it is. 3-0 perfect record. Dominating on the casual ladder. Honestly, guys, I totally forgot to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making this team. Absolutely love it today. As you guys saw, we went 3 0, we grabbed ourselves a perfect record and just killed it with every single Pokemon. We used Bex Caliber, we used Ninetales, Rillaboom, Volcarona, and Tauros. Funny enough, the only Pokemon we haven't used is Goldengo, who is a top tier meta Pokemon, or who is going to be a top tier meta Pokemon within Regulation H. But loved every Pokemon on this team, and I feel like this team really thrived out. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.